Well, certainly a hot day for history to be made at Target Field. Fans tried to stay cool as the field hosted its first ever football game. The University of St. Thomas took on St. John's University. Target Field staff set out the large fans and water jugs for fans, just like they do during Twins games. HCMC says 13 people have been treated for heat-related issues in the last 24 hours at Target Field. Kate Raditz was there for all of the excitement for the annual rivalry. Sure looked like a great crowd there today, Kate. It really was, Liz, and actually it was a record-setting crowd, and I'll get to that in just a minute here. But we knew going into today's game that there were more than 35,000 tickets sold for the 87th historic edition of the Tommies versus the Johnnies. Anticipation was building as the Minnesota Twins transformed a diamond into a gridiron this week. Now fans were ready for some football. Every year we just have a blast. Uh, it's a very competitive rivalry. SJU fans started the pregame party early at Fulton Brewery. Down the road it was a sea of purple at Cowboy Jacks for St. Thomas. So we really like to not like the Johnnies, and that's what makes it so much fun. 87 games to be exact, but this time a new spin on the old rivalry. The game marks the first football game ever held at Target Field. I think it's great that they can do a big venue like this to get everybody together, and I think that it's uh, highly publicized, and it's going to be a great game. With temps in the 80s on a not-so-typical fall day, the players took the field, and the crowd went wild. Then it was game time. No matter who you were cheering for, the energy was undeniable. But who should win? You gotta go with the Tommies, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Johnnies, of course. Now, in the end, it would be the Tommies that would uh, get the win there. Close game, though, 20 to 17. The official attendance number, 37,355 fans. That is actually a new division record for them. And it also is the fourth straight win in this rivalry for St. Thomas. So they at least get bragging records, uh, bragging rights for one more year. All right, Mike Max is going to have highlights uh, coming up in sports. Kate, thank you.